this is the Geekom XT12 Pro, a mini PC delivering all-out performance. In this sponsored review, we'll be taking a look at the specs and features of the Geekom XT12 Pro and putting it to the test in real-life scenarios. So, let's get started! Welcome back to Space Age Tech, where we look at the tech that pushes the limits. So let's see what's in the box. Up first, we have the XT12 Pro. This mini PC promises a lot of functionality in a small package. Only 4.4 inches by 4.6 inches, and it's super slim at 1.5 inches tall. We also have a quick start guide. Aside from the specs, it also has simple instructions for mounting your mini PC on the back of a monitor. And next, we have a thank you card from the Geekom team. And since this PC is so light, at 1.21 pounds, you can mount it on the back of your monitor. And Geekom has included a VESA mounting bracket to do just that. We have a few more things on the bottom compartment. The first one is the hardware for our bracket. And they've also included an HDMI cable. We'll be needing this to connect our monitor. Our last two items are our power adapter and our power cable. And that is all. Let's give the X-T12 Pro a closer look. On the sides and the bottom, you can see the cooling vents. Looks like Geekom went all out with connectivity capabilities. We have multiple HDMI, USB-C, USB-A. We have our DC jack and our LAN connector on the back. And on the front, we have our power button, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and two USB 3.2 connectors. And the X-T12 Pro is equipped with Thunderbolt 4, so it can transfer data up to 40 gigabytes per second. Let's disassemble the X-T12 Pro. First, we'll remove the four screws holding the back plate together. Here we have the copper heatsink for the M.2 slots. The X-T12 Pro comes with a 1TB NVMe 2280 SSD. It also has an open slot for an M.2 2242 SATA SSD. We have 32 gigabytes of 3200 MHz DDR4 memory, but it supports up to 64 gigabytes. The CPU is an Intel Core i9 12900H, which uses Iris XC integrated graphics. You could hook up an external GPU to increase gaming performance and productivity. Here we can see our fan. Geekom uses a proprietary Ice Blast 1.0 cooling system, which allows the computer to dissipate heat effectively. Aside from having a compact and stylish design, it also features an aluminum chassis. We're removing the heatsink assembly so we can take a better look at the CPU. All the testing we're going to see after this clip was done before we remove the heatsink. Here's a close up of the i9 and the heatsink. The i9 comes with 14 CPU cores, 20 thread, and 24 megabytes of an Intel Smart Cache. Now that we've seen what's inside, let's talk about what it can actually do. The XT12 Pro can be used for both work and play. So let's put it to the test in some home and office scenarios. Here we have the XT12 Pro hooked up to our projector. So in this case, we're using the projector as our monitor. The XT12 Pro can connect up to four 4K monitors or one 8K monitor to fit your needs. 
and we're getting some very nice streaming experience with the X-T12. It supports 6E Wi-Fi and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. So streaming should be smooth as butter as seen here. And if you like to keep your own movie collection like we see here in Plex, you can use that X-T12 with your monitor or projector. Let's put the X-T12 to work. In our shop, we're usually fighting for more space and we have quite a few pieces of equipment where we need a computer to operate or it's just convenient to have one close to the machine. However, that's not always practical because we're always competing for space. But as you can see here, the X-T12 Pro can sit nicely in a corner of our workbench. Many other CNC's may require a computer as a controller, and this portable and affordable PC can be a great option. As you can imagine, given that it's a shop, there's a lot of dust and debris. We made a stand so that we can place the Geekom on top and it's forced to pull air from the sides instead of the bottom. Here we've moved on to our laser engraving station. A lot of laser engravers, like the COM marker we see here, require a computer to run the software. Here we see the XC12 Pro sitting on top of the counter. Since it has a very small footprint, you could leave it here. Or you could use the mounting plate that came with the X-T12 Pro and mount it on the back of the monitor here. So here we're using the X-T12 Pro to run the software for the laser engraving machine. And this is our finished product. With the X-T12 Pro, we are able to run all of our desktop applications. We are also able to have a much larger monitor than a laptop would give you. And your replacement costs will be lower overall because you can just replace the mouse, monitor, keyboard independently. And if you need a second PC, you can actually hide the X-T12 inside your main PC. This is especially useful for streamers or content creators because you're running caption cards and need a second PC. And again, you don't need to have a huge office setup to put this together. So now that we've seen the Geekom X-T12 Pro, we've taken it apart, we've seen it in different scenarios, let's take a look at some benchmarks and specs. We ran three programs to check the specs and components of the X-T12 Pro. Throughout this section, we had HW Monitor running for all the tests, so you can watch the temperature of the components and other information throughout the test. We ran HW Info 64. This tells us our CPU features, our motherboard and memory info. And on the right, we have the operating system as well as the SSD specs. Then we have CPU Z, which verifies our CPU information, and GPU Z to verify the GPU info. Because these programs sometimes show conflicting information, we have included all three so you can have a clear understanding of the specs. If you'd like to take a closer look, you can pause here, but this does coincide with the specs and features mentioned earlier. Next, we run a test on Cinebench. Cinebench is a benchmarking tool that evaluates a computer's hardware capabilities by using real-world 3D rendering tasks to assess the performance of the CPU and GPU. The score can be compared against other CPUs, and as you can see here, it gives us a ranking of the XT12 Pro versus other systems. And this is a good indicator as to whether or not the system is going to perform well with programs such as Premiere. For our next test, we'll run Puget Bench for creators. This test is designed to benchmark professional workloads in the most common video editing, photography, VFX, and motion graphic applications. 
In this case, we want to test it with Adobe Premiere. Puget Bench for Premiere Pro runs on top of your installed copy of Adobe Premiere Pro and it provides benchmark data directly from the application. For this XT12, we got a score of 1477 and we can dig into the score to learn a little bit more about how it's broken down. You can pause here if you'd like to read through a little bit more of the details. For our next test, we'll run Crystal Disk Mark. This is an open source disk drive benchmarking tool that measures the performance of your SSD. It can test sequential and random performance, including the speed of reading and writing data in a straight line, and the speed of reading and writing small bits of data stored in different places. And here you can see the results for the XT12 on both sequential read and write and random read and write. For our next test, we'll use Furmark. Furmark is a free benchmark tool for Windows that can stress test a graphics card stability. It uses this very cool fur rendering algorithms to measure a graphic card performance by maximizing the power draw beyond any real world application or game. On the upper left hand side, you can see our results. Although we don't have a GPU, we use this to show how a load on the integrated graphics raises the heat of the cooling system. You can see that trend going up on the HW monitor pane to the right. This site provides a one-click solution that looks at your computer's hardware and system software to determine whether or not your current system can run a game. And here we see some of the games that we can run, such as Fortnite, Fallout, Minecraft, etc. And if your favorite game is not in here, the Geekom XT12 Pro does support an external GPU. Let's look at some gaming in action. This game is called RimWorld and it runs very well because it's not as GPU intensive. And that's all for our test. We were impressed with the Geekom's XT12 features. Starting with its powerful Intel Core i9 processor, making it suitable for intensive tasks and multitasking. It's compact, but it has a lot of connectivity options. And we could see a lot of potential both at home and at work. The Geekom XT12 Pro offers a compelling combination of power, capacity, and convenience. So, what did you think? Let us know in the comments. If you're ready to get your very own Geekom XT12 Pro, check the links in the bio. We'll be reviewing this and other amazing technology in our upcoming videos. If you like this one, please like and subscribe, it really helps our channel grow.